Trevor asks, the guy at the tire store told me that I need EV tires for my electric vehicle. Now, is this true or will regular tires do just fine? Well, that's a good question, Trevor. And the truth is you can get away with using regular tires just as long as you pay attention to one particular detail when buying them. And I'll explain what that is in just a minute. However, dedicated EV tires have their benefits. And I'll explain what they are today as part of the Beginner's Guide to Tires sponsored by Salen Tire. Why Salen? Well, because you don't always have to spend a lot to get a decent tire. Now, a funny thing happened a few years ago when electric vehicles first appeared on the market. Now, the owners of these electric vehicles noticed that they were going through a set of tires much faster than they used to when they were driving their regular gasoline or diesel powered vehicles. Now, the reasons why EVs chew up tires more quickly has to do with two particular factors. Number one, EVs are much heavier than their non EV counterparts, and that added mass puts a lot of strain on tires. And number two, typically EVs produce a lot of torque and that torque kicks in the instant you mash the accelerator. And all that torque puts a lot of strain on tires. So with these two issues in mind, tire manufacturers have designed tires specifically engineered to handle both the added mass as well as all this extra torque. But that's not the end of the story. EV tires offer two other benefits. First, they're designed to maximize the distance an electric vehicle can travel on the charge. Now, we know that range anxiety is a real thing. It's a real problem. So EV tires are designed with low rolling resistance in mind in order to maximize range, maximize the distance an electric vehicle can go on a single charge. And the second benefit is that well, since EVs are so quiet, those who drive them are more likely to be bothered by the noise that traditional tires typically make. So EV tires have been designed to be quieter than regular tires. Now, what does all, all this mean? Well, if you drive an electric vehicle and you want your tires to last as long as possible, and you want to maximize the distance you can go on a single charge, and you want your tires to be as quiet as a tire can possibly be, then you'll want to invest in a set of tires made specifically for electric vehicles rather than, you know, a regular tire. However, at the outset, I said that you can get away with using regular tires just as long as you pay attention to one particular detail when buying them. What's that detail? It's the load index. The load index tells you how much weight, how much mass a tire can actually carry. So if your tire has the correct load index, it will be able to support the added mass of your vehicle. And that's great, but it still won't help you deal with the instant torque. It still won't necessarily offer the low rolling resistance that you want, unless of course it's a low rolling resistance tire to begin with. And it won't necessarily be as quiet as you maybe would like it to be, unless again, it's already been engineered to be quiet. So if this is all confusing, let me sum it up this way. While some tires are made to handle added weight and some tires can handle added torque and some tires offer low rolling resistance and some tires are designed to be quiet EV specific tires are designed with all four of these benefits in mind that all four of these factors are rolled into one tire. And that's why EV tires can make sense if you drive an electric vehicle. Now, let me speak to hybrid vehicle owners for a minute for a minute. You're in that strange in between space, that gray zone where you're not driving a regular gas or diesel powered vehicle and you're not driving a pure electric vehicle. So you're in this middle space. So do you need EV specific tires too? Well, let's look at those four factors again, that uh, the four benefits of EV tires. Number one, added weight. Hybrids are not as heavy as electric vehicles because hybrid batteries are a lot smaller. So that's really not a benefit that you would need. How about added torque? Well, most hybrids don't pack the kind of punch that a sporty EV does. So 
That's not a benefit you would necessarily need, unless of course your hybrid does offer neck snapping instant torque, in which case, well, yeah, you could benefit from an EV tire. How about low rolling resistance? Well, if you want to maximize the distance that you can go on a charge, let's say that you drive a plug-in hybrid that's got a range of, you know, 50 miles or 70 kilometers, for example, then an EV tire would make sense, or you could simply buy a regular tire that was designed with low rolling resistance in mind already. It's really up to you. And the fourth factor, noise. As a hybrid owner, your engine is running sometimes, sometimes it's not. So if you find that you're bothered by the hum of your tires when you're running on battery power alone, well, then an EV tire would make sense for you. Or you could buy one of the many tires on the market that aren't made specifically for EVs, but are engineered to be quiet. So in short, EV tires for EV owners, that makes sense. EV tires for hybrid owners could make sense depending on which one of those four benefits you want out of a set of tires. Now, getting back to our sponsor, Salem Tire, if you're shying away from investing in EV tires simply because of the added cost, well, why not take a closer look at what Salen has to offer? They make EV tires in, in a broad range of sizes, which means you can get the benefits you want from an EV tire without necessarily breaking the bank. Earlier on, we talked about how low rolling resistance, how that's a benefit. If you're not sure how that benefits you or what low rolling resistance is or why you even want it, please check out the video right here. And as always, thanks for watching.